everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're going to be continuing on with working on the stag. There's some things that aren't working properly that I need to fix and repair. There's a few things still that need changing. So we're gonna be getting involved in that. Also, there's some new equipment for the shop. Make lifting a lot easier and lowering. So let's hook in and see what I got up to. In my previous video, I wired in a relay that gave me a 10 second light on the seatbelt warning sign and would turn off once the car was started. Also fitted a Petronics Igniter 2 kit including the coil and that's working really well. Then I helped wire the car, that helped me diagnose that the issue I had wasn't with the car's wiring. Um, and then moved on, uh, put a post up on Facebook, used the timing light to check I had a direct spark on each one of the spark plugs. And lo and behold, spark plug number six was my problem. Yay. Replaced that and the car has behaved itself ever since. Now I bought this car sight unseen, had it transported from Canberra. Back in the day, my ride before Stags was a Mark III Cortina. Only thing that went wrong for me with that car was it caught fire, but led me to my love for Stags. I went on the search for one and eventually ended up with a Mark I and a half car, manual overdrive, happy days. The last Triumph Stag rolled off the production line as pictured here in 1978. It then became an enthusiast car. Despite all its problems, the car is loved and driven today worldwide. Fast forward to today and this Mark II 1976 Pimento Red Stag is mine. I've added a few parts to it done a, quite a few serious jobs to it, added the soft top, polished the wheels but today we're continuing with adding some more parts to it so let's get it out of the shed, get myself set up and let's hook in. First up is the advanced retired pipe. This runs from the distributor across to the left hand bank carb. Going to remove the piece of pipe that's in place and fit the Rimmer Brothers correct part. It's got elbows and a piece of pipe. I get all my parts from my trusted stag parts supplier, that's Leon. So let's hook in and get this bit underway. Bit fiddly, that's but we'll the get there. advanced retired pipe fitted in. We've, you can just about see it on the distributor there where my finger is, elbow. The one under the carb was tricky, but not as hard as fitting with a, like a pipe. The other. Also on the driver's seat, the latch that moves the back of the seat forward. The bezel isn't correct, it looks like another homemade job. So I've had my trusty stag parts supplier, Leon, he sourced the correct part for me. So I'm going to install that. That bad boy there gave him a clean up, clean the knob as well. Seats are gonna need a re-trim. So yeah, piece by piece, she's coming back to stag. So All right. I've had an issue where I can't turn my wipers off and I've read on various for forums about wiper park switch. I was thinking it's a re relay problem, but not the case. The first thing I've noticed is there's a lot of play there. And just here, where my thumb is, if it goes into focus, there you go. This is quite loose. Um, and as a result of that, hope the camera can pick it up. This, this arm here has come away 
there and then when I push it down the wipers will park and turn off but you can see there's movement there so gonna have to take the wiper motor out and see if I can just zap that in and get a weld on it but uh, not looking forward to it but I'm not gonna do it while it's in the car because right next to that is the fuel line so that'll be a wiper out job and then I might see if I can just make it a little bit more sturdy in there it's kind of loose which wouldn't have helped um, to wear in that part there but yeah there's another job to fix on the old girl we'll get there I wouldn't recommend this I'm absolutely pooing myself but um, I've managed to get a spot of weld in there because this was just floating around like a frog in a sock um, and definitely why the wipers wouldn't park so even if that weld fails I mean I just blipped it and <laughs> used good old brake cleaner to clean it up so I could get a decent weld and uh, yeah found out the hard way it's flammable but um yeah managed to get that under control real quick and it would have meant completely taking all the wiper mechanisms out and the dash to, to get this out so if it fails again I'll know what it is and then I'm gonna try TIG welding it next time but be interesting to see so a fix it. this part here looks like it's homemade and is sponge which may take care of some of the friction in the unit but what I've done from now this 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 strap that sits around the horseshoe bracket I've just doubled it up with some other stuff I'll put a couple of blobs of Sikaflex or no nails so it dries quick um, and see if that holds it in place It'll give it a bit of a, a better grip and then I'll test it I guess the plan is is you want a bit of movement there but not too much because if you've got a lot of movement there that's definitely what knackers the park switch bracket it'll just snap and I guess maybe the same if you've got it too tight but what the tolerances are I wouldn't have a clue so but definitely that's too available now t-shirts are available in black or white $45 Grab yourself a set of stickers for 10 bucks, or they're $4 each, suitable for your toolbox or your man cave. The transparent tire are really cool for the outside glass on your car. Or the reverse transparent for the inside glass on your car. It's getting a little chilly out there. Beanies are now available at $30 each. Contact me through the Facebook page for prices availability. All prices include Post Australia wide. Ignition on. Uh, should park. Yes! Awesome. All right, let's fire our oven. So, give it a bit of, give it a bit of juice. Intermittent. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Yes! Baby, all right, let's go first speed. Oh no, we want intermittent off. First speed, there she goes. Off, bloody beauty, fixed it. Let's turn the wipers off. Yes, salted. Now it's not a secret that I love working on my cars but I also love my dog. This is my Rottweiler, he's my best friend. As you can see I give him all the love and attention he needs and he's quite a good companion in the workshop when I'm working on my cars.
something I've needed for the shed tool was is a hydraulic transmission jack this one's arrived so I'm going to get some tools and we're going to assemble it let's see how I go So there we have it, one assembled gearbox stroke diff jack. Um, all in all, it's taken me about an hour to figure it out. I have made some improvements. I've put nylock nuts and we'll continue to go around it with some nylock nuts. These are just too easy to unwind. So uh, well, overall, I'm happy with what I've got. It's certainly gonna make things easier when I wanna drop diffs and gearboxes down instead of my back taking the strain. That's what this contraption's for. So be putting it to good use very soon. Happy days. We were going out for a drive today. Oh no, we wasn't. One of the power steering hoses decided to let go. So, quite easy actually um, to jack her up and get her up in the air, but this is the offender. Looking pretty old. Just get out in the light so you can see it. 
looks pretty old, all the pipes cracked. It's been rubbing there. So yeah, trip to Pertec tomorrow, see if they can fix that bit for me. If not, James Paddock, here I come. Um, had a look at the other hose, that looks okay. Did notice when I was getting the car out the garage that the steering all of a sudden got lighter, so inside that pipe maybe it's all um, swollen up and not letting the pressure through because the steering isn't like stag steering on this car it's pretty tight so I just thought that might be all the new ball joints and whatever but yeah we'll get that sorted tomorrow or order one online from James Paddock here it is there's the power steering hose back from Pertec they've done this in about six hours 150 bucks so my other choice was probably a bit more correct looking on this joint which goes into the pump um, but now i'm ready to install this and should be back up and running in no time so let's do it in goes the hose quite a tricky job if i can get i sort of had to snake it a bit lucky for this fella here i could crack this nut and adjust this so that this collar came to this position otherwise it was touching the manifold the exhaust manifold so I've added some fluid just gonna have a quick look underneath see if I got any leaks and I'll fire it up to leak the system hopefully back on the road pretty oh, it looks okay from what I can see really tight under here and yes i got a hoist and i choose to do it on the floor but i think it's just a case of how the bloody thing went it just blew on me but oh well but anyway let's fire it up and bleed this system That's the high pressure hose on the power steering fitted. Just need to add some ATF, then start the car up, move the steering from lock to lock to release any air. I've left the cap off the reservoir. Hopefully no leaks, and we'll be back on the road enjoying in no time at all. just made this little contraption for my flashy unit in the stag I can't hear it and it's just hanging there which I've heard that's the case with most stags but I did find a spot for this and attach a flasher unit to it and I could actually hear the indicators when they're on so I'm just about to install it I found a spot for it gonna bolt it in and then I'll do another part of the video showing that actually the, the flasher unit resonates through this. So um, this was a bit of steel that come 
with the stag horns if the brackets are gone this is what you would have bolted the horns to so I'm guessing once it's in there I should get a louder um, indicator sound so I'll stick it in there and we'll have a look. So that's the resonator installed let's have a listen and see if we've got a bit of a louder indicator sound oh yeah we do yeah that's much better you can actually hear it now oh well success job done so off camera I've invented this contraption which is a simple boat winch a couple of hundred dollars off of eBay car battery and a ratchet strap I'm gonna to have to come up with some kind of um, I want to use straps because they're safer on places like that um, but I need something that will lift the hard top evenly I've got this little fella here which makes hands-free movement really cool so. a lot easier than lifting it these, these aren't light to live lift they're, they're liftable but you're stretching over the span of the car or the width and yeah anyway this is what I'm coming up with um, but I'm gonna have to work on it well guys that's all I've got time for in this video not a bad idea with the boat winch for the hard top like I say they're a heavy unit very very heavy to get on and off the car looks like that's a one man job now thanks to a car battery and a remote control stick around for the next episodes coming up there's more work to be done on my black mad max car and I'm continuing my pursuit to have the yellow mad max car in paint by the end of the year no promises as always like share subscribe see you on the next one